Hello, my loves. Welcome to your weekly reading, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Okay, so we have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. We have the Hierophant, Taurus Energy. The King of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries Energy. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. The Two of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. Alright guys, so what I'm feeling here is we may be dealing with somebody here that does want to move forward with you in a connection um, that is more stable, that is more traditional, Taurus energy here. Um, but I feel like this person is currently battling within themselves, okay? Because we have someone here who's very in and out, used to a very fast lifestyle, okay? Um, this is somebody, you know, if they're a fire sign or if they have fire in their chart, they don't have to, okay? But this is somebody who loves attention. This is somebody who likes to be in the spotlight, likes to go out, likes to be seen by people, okay? So this person here is currently in a situation where as much as they may see that with the Ten of Pentacles and the Hierophant here that you are the one, they're still battling trying to figure out if they're really ready to basically settle down, okay? So let's see here. So we have the Ace of Wands. We have the Two of Wands. All right, so right here, yeah, this is a little worrisome. Seven of Wands, okay. So somebody here may have started speaking to somebody new, and they're realizing here that they have to make a decision, okay. One person here needs to be either blocked. Yeah, there's a lot of communication coming in, okay. So I feel like there's, there's two people in this picture here. I'm feeling third party. Yeah, five of swords, five of swords. One person here feels like they, they're talking to, they're, they're getting confused here because they may be talking to two different people. One person may be the person that they know they want to settle down with, whereas the other person, it's more about passion, okay? It's more about, um, you know, this person maybe feeds their ego a little bit more, okay? So someone here is realizing that they have to make a decision, they have to block communication with somebody, but I feel like they're feeling defeated here. Page of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy, because I feel like the person that they know they should turn away from, Wheel of Fortune, okay? I feel like the person that they know they should turn away from, I feel they want to win, okay, with that Wheel of Fortune card, um, and I feel that this is basically someone's karma because they started talking to this person while they were already in this committed relationship. For some of you, this could literally be that you are currently married to this person and they started talking to somebody, right? So I feel like with this Five of Swords and this Wheel of Fortune, this person will play mind games. They will use sex. They will do whatever they need to do to get what they want, okay? To get what they want. So. Again, there's two people that this person is dealing with. One of them they're either already married to or they realize that the connection is going to go towards marriage or a deeper commitment. But there is a third party in the picture that definitely wants to win and they will win at all costs. We've got the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We have the Eight of Swords. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. So what I'm getting here is that somebody is in, I'm getting with this King of Swords and this Eight of Swords, okay? Somebody here is in, um, oh, how can I put it? They're trying to protect their connection, and I feel that this is this third-party energy, okay? I feel like this person realizes um, that they have fallen in love with somebody who is about to give up on them or cut them out because that two of swords and that two of wands is a decision okay i feel like this person 
is is trying to do whatever they can because the king of swords is very strategic right it isn't based off of emotion so here this person is using a lot of passion and a lot of mind games a lot of communication to try to keep your person intrigued and interested now here we have the king of swords and the eight of swords this person is stuck in um their head about this person okay so guys i don't know what side you find yourself on here okay you could be the one who's married to this person you could be the main person that this person knows that they are going to have a future with or you could be the person that's dealing with two different people or you could be the third party here that knows and they feel threatened by this this other person okay so i feel with the two of swords here um the ten of wands and the queen of cups someone here is leaning on intelligence and intuition okay um someone here is leaning on intelligence and intuition now another thing we can be doing dealing with here since we're starting with cancer here and we have cancer here we could be dealing with two different energies we could be dealing with an air sign or um, a water sign which is an indication that the two people that this person has to choose between is one person here that may be very loving kind and nurturing and the other person here is being a little strategic in trying to um, keep this person with them okay we have the nine of cups the nine of cups We have the High Priestess, Cancer, Piscean, Energy. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Four of Pentacles. We have the Moon, Pisces, Cancerian, Energy. And we have the devil, Capricorn energy. So I feel, I feel that what's happening here, see, we have the, <laughs> yeah, see, we have an issue here. Someone here is having massive regret. Under the deck, we have the five of cups, okay? So someone here is having an issue because with the five of cups, they're really regretting this disaster that they got themselves into. Let's put this up here. We have the Knight of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. Someone here is really regretting this, this player energy or playing games. They regret this because see, they're realizing here that they really need to stop this connection, this third party connection, okay? Because if they don't, if they don't, um, with the world card here, um, I feel that if they do not stop doing what they're doing, the soulmate connection that they currently have is going to end, okay? So this connection up here, because we've got the Ten of Pentacles as a soulmate card, so the connection that they value the most is going to end. They're starting to realize that here, okay? They're starting to realize that here. Um, see, they were in a situation here where with the Six of Pentacles and the Lover's card, Gemini energy, it was more about passion, I'm feeling here. It did cause an imbalance in the relationship with this person up here, but they did not fall in love. Do you understand what I'm saying? They did not fall in love. It was more based on passion. But now what's happening is this third party entity is coming in to threaten Okay, because this person wants to win at all costs. See, with the Nine of Cups and the High Priestess, this person is up to no good. This person wants to win. They want to get their wish fulfillment, okay? And with the Four of Cups and the Six of Cups, this person is realizing that they're, they're being rejected here with the Six of Cups for a soulmate. The Six of Cups can represent soulmate energy. It can represent, you know, an ex. It could represent, um, but I don't really feel ex here. I feel more than anything that this is a soulmate connection here. They realize here that they're being rejected for a soulmate. And with the Four of Pentacles, they're trying to stop that from happening. They're trying to hold on to this person. With the Moon card and the Devil, this person is like obsessed. This person, this third party here is obsessed, okay? They are obsessed Capricorn energy. And somebody now is regretting it because I feel like they're trying to hit the brakes on this connection. And again, with that Knight of Wands, it was very passionate, right? But now they're trying to hit the brakes on this because they're realizing that if they don't do something to stop this, their soulmate connection is going to end. So we've got one soulmate connection here because we see the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the Six of Cups. We see one soulmate connection here. And then we see a third party connection, okay? Because this Ace of Wands tells me that this is a very passionate connection. This 
this is a very phallic card. So this connection started, if this was the Ace of Cups, it would be different, but this connection started on a sexual note, on a passionate note, okay? So I feel like someone is truly regretting the situation because, um, yeah, this person wants to win at all costs, and this person is facing their karma. With that Five of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, this is the karma that they're getting now for cheating. This is the karma that they're getting now for having this third party, okay? Tell me about the chariot, please. We have the Seven of Wands. Somebody here is trying to block forward movement in this soulmate connection. The Hierophant, we've got the King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. So this is definitely a strong commitment. Someone here is either married or someone here is, um, you know, just in a very stable, strong commitment here. But you see, we've got two faces to this king. We've got one that is stable and committed, and then we've got one, the King of Wands here, who is a little bit more passionate here. Page of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. So they may have met this third party online, possibly, and they're, or maybe they're afraid of being found out. They're, maybe they're afraid of you seeing this other side to them. With the Knight of Swords and the Star, Aquarian Energy, this person made an impulsive and reckless decision. They saw something that they wanted, okay, and they went for it. Tell me about the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, you see, someone here was, you know, they kind of was started juggling with that Seven of, of Swords. They made a very impulsive decision, and they just, you know what I'm saying? And what's funny is, look, here's the Ten of Pentacles, right? Okay, if I look at the Seven of Swords, like they're, they're trying to get away with something as they're looking at the Ten of Pentacles to make sure that the Ten of Pentacles didn't see. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I feel like this person was, up, you know, did something behind their soulmate's back and now they're worried that they are going to lose this beautiful Ten of Pentacles connection here. So someone here may be worried about their partner finding out and breaking up or filing for a divorce losing this abundant and beautiful connection. Tell me about this Ace of Wands. Yeah, you see here? Third party situation. Somebody here was in a relationship. You see how they're holding on to these two wands? And they saw something shiny in the neighbor's yard that they were yearning for. Okay? Tell me about the Two of Wands. We have the Sun, Leo energy. So I feel like they went for it. They did what they had to do, but now they're realizing that they need to make a choice here to block this person out. You see, with that Seven of Wands and that Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, I feel, see, we've got air here. We could possibly be dealing with an air sign for the third party. Now, this third party is starting to chase them. Do you understand? And they need to, like, this person is is moving a little too quick, like, they're, they're, they're coming on a little too strong, and this person's like, wait, hold on, listen, you know what I'm saying? You're texting me at all hours of the day, you're calling me at all hours of the day, you're doing all of this stuff, this needs to end, you know, Scorpionic energy here, I'm in a relationship, I'm committed, okay? Tell me about the Five of Swords, we've got the Ace of Pentacles. This person is going to play a lot of mind games until, um, you know, they win, until they get the prize. That's what I'm seeing here with that Ace of Pentacles. They want to win the prize. Page of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, okay? This person is, is they know how to sway the other person. Like, when it comes down to, like, maybe, I'm getting with the Page of Wands because that's a lot of passion, right? So this person might send nudes or they might send something sexual or something. You know, they know how to get your person's attention to where, like, when they say, no, listen, I can't talk to you. This has to end. I'm in a relationship. This person knows how to pull them back in, okay? Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Libra, Cancerian energy. And I feel like this is what this person wants to win. They want to win this Empress's spot. Do you understand what I'm saying? Male, female, doesn't matter, okay? Male, female, it doesn't matter. Tell me about this King of Swords, the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. This is what I find interesting, guys. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, okay? King of Cups to the Queen of Cups. Now, look at this. I feel strongly, remember how I said that the, the King of Swords, I felt, was the third party trying to strategically take someone's place? Do you see what I'm saying now? Like, there's three people here. We've got a relationship. King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, and this King of Swords, again, gender doesn't matter, guys, okay? It's trying to replace one of these people. This person is trying to win this person's spot, okay? Tell me, and look under the deck what we have. The devil, they're obsessed about it. Tell me about the Eight of Swords, the Tower, Aries, Taurus, Energy. This person is literally stuck in their head wanting this connection to fall. 
They're wanting this connection to fall. Tell me about the Ace of Cups, the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. This third party has fallen in love, and they are making moves here for victory, okay? They're making moves for victory. Two of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune, okay? So this person is making moves on how to get what they want. You see that Wheel of Fortune? They are doing uh, whatever they can to win that prize is really what I'm feeling, okay? Um, tell me about this Ten of Wands. The Hierophant, Taurus energy. So we've got the Hierophant here twice. So somebody here wants the person um, to give up on their marriage or to give up on this, you know, spiritual soul tie connection. Because the Hierophant for me is a spiritual connection. Ten of Pentacles is a soulmate connection. Six of Cups is a soulmate connection. And we see a soulmate connection right here with the Two of Cups, right? So I feel like this third party is doing everything they can to get this person to either give up on their marriage or give up on their commitment. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. The devil, Capricorn energy. This person is so unbelievably obsessed and jealous and envious over this Queen of Cups, okay? So guys, are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Okay, we've got the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups here, okay? The King of Cups to the Queen of Cups here. This person is super jealous of this Queen of Cups, super jealous of this Queen of Cups. And this person is trying to replace one of the you know this queen of cups is pretty guys gender doesn't matter this is cancer scorpio pisces energy uh taurus energy capricorn energy but gender doesn't matter okay um tell me about this nine of cups please spirit the ace of wands see this person knows how to use sex and and passion and communication to wrap this person around their finger tell me about the high priestess this person is very um very wise this person knows the secret okay they know they are a secret with the five of cups here i feel like this person um deep down inside they they're disappointed that they're remaining a secret like they thought that by now they would get what they wanted and they would be made public and that this person would leave this soulmate connection or this marriage okay another thing i'm getting here is that you know this person is so they're so upset they're jealous they're upset they're disappointed this person is not coming from a good place let me tell you something they are not this person thought that they would truly win this prize tell me about the four of cups the four of swords i feel like some this third party is going to get rejected and they are sitting here thinking they are sitting here thinking about what um, they can do to screw this up okay because they got news here they got communication that with temperance, Sagittarian energy and the Six of Cups. Temperance and the Six of Cups are two soulmate cards in a love reading. Okay, temperance is a soulmate card and so is the Six of Cups. So I feel like somebody here got communication of, listen, um, we need to end this because I, I am going back to my soulmate. I'm going back to my main person. Now with this Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, yeah. See, I feel like this third party is trying to, with that Four of Pentacles, hold this person back from this Ten of Pentacles relationship, okay? Another soulmate card here, right? So I feel that this person is secretly doing whatever they can with the Moon and the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So now we have the King to the Queen of Swords. So look at this. We've got the King of Cups to the Queen of Cups, which is a very loving connection compared to the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords, which is a very defensive connection or it's a connection that to me has like died down right so with the moon card here i feel that you know this person if we have the queen of swords especially in the reverse the queen of swords can be um very strategic very she could feel scorned the queen of swords can be very spiteful if crossed okay tell me about the devil there and i definitely don't like it that she's fake yeah see she's out to cause drama this queen of swords is out to cause drama this third party is out to really yeah, this person is really out to cause some drama that, you know, they may even contact the third party, the, the you know, the main person, the wife, the husband, the soulmate energy. Um, I feel here that someone is having a lot of regret because maybe this person is going to be successful at ending this connection. Someone here might be coming forward, okay? The, this Queen of Swords wants revenge and she may be coming forward, okay? We got that Devil card here twice. She may be coming forward to fight for, for this person, um, 
she may even like come out maybe and and tell the third party because we see here someone here is having a lot of regret for for cheating for involving this person we've got the hanged man the two of cups in the world i feel here that somebody here may be stalling this this two of cups connection possibly even ending it this person is out for revenge Okay, this person is out for revenge. So let's go ahead and take it into the extended. Um, let's see what's going to happen here. We're going to pull one spread for the third party, one spread for the person that, you know, cheated or that did this wrong thing, this person that's in regret. And then we're going to pull um, one, uh, one reading for the outcome of either the person that's married or this soulmate connection. And we'll see what the outcome of all three situations is going to be. Okay, I love you guys. Be safe. The link for the extended will be in the description box below and in the comment section. I love you guys. Take care. I love you guys. Take